Ciao baby, Tane Paul here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to never ever miss an upload. Most of you would know that I'm always in the pursuit to learn new things in order to improve my work. And if you look back at my content, there is a proof to this thing. Recently, I've put my hands on a new gear, specifically on the Hoem iSteady MT2 camera gimbal. It's a still work in progress as I'm still getting used to it and learn how to properly use it, but so far I'm very pleased with this purchase. Let me tell you a few things about it and why you should consider getting one for yourself. First of all, it supports up to 1.2 kilos payload. iSteady M22 is compatible with smartphone, action camera, compact camera, and certain full frame mirrorless cameras combined with lenses. So all the gear that I have is compatible with it, which is so awesome. By the way, on their website, you can see whether the camera you have is compatible with the gimbal. It has a magnetic AI tracker, which is designed to achieve AI tracking independently without the need for Bluetooth connection or any apps. There is an app which is quite easy to use and the app has actually quite a few interesting features. For example, a beauty filter to make your skin flawless. Not that you need that, just a feature and I will show it to you in a few seconds. And for those of you wondering what a gimbal serves for, it helps you to film your videos smoothly. Get a gimbal to get rid of those shaky videos. This little demonstration was filmed with the help of the gimbal and look how smooth everything looks. Here's the app, it's very easy to use and it's actually quite fun to use. Check it out! Another cool thing about this gimbal is that the AI tracking sensor enables your camera to automatically follow and surround the human subject, making it easy to achieve seamless and fluid human subject tracking. This gimbal also allows you to film vertically, with multiple expansion ports on iSteady M22 can be installed accessories such as a fill light, microphone and more according to your needs. I gotta say, for someone who doesn't have enough experience with gimbals, the Hohen M22 is quite easy to use and set up. I'm still learning and getting used to it, but I'm sure it will be a success. Check out the Hohen website to get yourself one. Well, hello, how are you? How's it going? I hope you're having a wonderful day and you're super duper excited for today's drawing haul. Well, today we're going to talk about fall trend 2023. I hope you're excited, because I am, because I prepared quite a few outfits and I got quite a few things to say about these trends. Buckle up kitty cats and let's roll! Here's the first trend and it's called, we'll cut like this. Basically, what does it mean? They say the Miu Miu models get dressed in a hurry this season so much that the waistband of tights were yank up over cardigans and uncapped puffs of a bad hat race bobbed as they walked. Well, just so you know, I used for the inspiration the article of the British Vogue and I have to tell you, I had to work to make this outfit more realistic and presentable. Because what we see normally during fashion week is not something you would actually wear in normal life. Well, let's be honest. If you'd like to see what actually was presented during the fashion week, I'm pretty sure you'd be surprised. <laughs> and the outfit that I'm gonna show you today would seem quite, quite normal. Anyway, in two words, it's very simple. You just look up, you grab the first thing that you saw 
and you left your apartment basically like that. Here I'm wearing this silk shirt that looks kind of like a, I don't know, like a nightgown. It's not a nightgown, but this is the vibe. I gotta say it looks very cute. It's practical. I mean, not really, but it's very cute. Let me know in the comment section what do you agree with me. Wow, here we got another trend and this one is called Real Talk. Why do you think it's called this way? Maybe if you have a look at the outfit that I'm going to prepare, you will have an idea, have a better idea. But let me tell you why it's called Real Talk. Well, the idea here was to basically grab your casual clothes like a grey hoodie, for example, and style it with a, a strong shoulder, camel coat, and maybe leggings. The Mimu girl did that. Or, for example, get a pair, I don't know, you could pair your baggy blue jeans with a striped shirt and trench. The Gucci woman did that. Anyway, I decided to <laughs> make it a little bit more, I don't know, I've decided, well, something I would wear personally. So I grabbed this Zara bodysuit and this bodysuit does look so good just to look at it. I decided to wear it with my favorite pair of blue jeans and I did and this beautiful fall leather coat. This is mostly the Zara outfit, the bodysuit, the jeans and the coat are from Zara and just to make it a little bit more feminine and elegant I decided to add sandals here and honestly I really love it. It kind of looks, I would say, maybe like a New York City outfit. I love it. I love the way it turned out. It looks very casual and pretty cool for fall. Let me know in the comment section what do you agree with me. And to be honest, uh, those outfits, the Miu Miu outfit and the Gucci outfits, I mean, they had potential in my opinion, but they kind of did twist them a little bit to make them kind of high fashion. And honestly, I don't really think, think that they worry that much. I mean, okay, anyway, this is my personal opinion only. <laughs> but they should have changed those outfits a little bit. That's just. Um, a little bit too casual, okay? Like, a little bit too much. Well, the next outfit is gonna be some sort of a... What's the experiment? And the next trend that I'm gonna present to you is called Precious Metals on Metallics. Well, what does that mean? It means that it's time to go for you and search for something shiny and maybe metallic. Just don't go and buy something metallic or shiny, just go and search for something similar in your wardrobe like I did. Well, here is what I did. I had this beautiful pleated skirt for years. I love it, I have to say, I haven't used it in a while, but I was like, why not to try and pair it with a corset? This corset is also quite shiny and does have this metallic kind of a shine. I did say shine, shiny two times. Anyway, honestly, help me out here. I feel like it's kind of a cute outfit, but at the same time, I'm not 100% sure. Also, what do you think about the jacket on top? I didn't really put it on, I decided to put it on top. At the same time, I think maybe I should have added a different bag. This one is way too casual for this outfit. I should have picked a different color because it's way too 
champagne badge wise we needed to have something different but at the same time i don't mind this outfit i can say i kind of like it let me know in the comment section whether you feel the same And just a reminder that I'm sharing you the office that you could actually wear because if you check the article, the office that the models wore during the fashion week, I mean, it would be a little bit complicated to wear those on a daily basis. <laughs> Let's put it this way. Rebel. Rebel. Well, the next fall trend that we're going to discuss today is dedicated to Vivian Westwood. Fashion loss and colossus when Don Vivian Westwood passed away in December, and lots of designers decided to dedicate this fall, this season to her, and rightfully so. But I have to say that. I am not her biggest fan and I'm not really I'm not really familiar with her. Don't come at me. Okay, so here I'm just trying my best because I'm not really familiar with her. And another little secret that I'm gonna tell you now that we're here. I wouldn't say that I'm a rebel when it comes to fashion. I did wear some I don't know, so maybe sometimes weird stuff, but it was only to show to you that it exists. But in my personal life, I don't wear kind of rebellious outfits. Let's put it this way. Well, but from what I saw, her legacy lived on in the vibrant tartans, bald bustles, and graceful costumery. Well, and um, here we are. <laughs> Not really, but this is my interpretation, I guess. Yeah, my outfit has this checkered print, which I really love. Probably this is not the perfect representation, but please bear with me. On this trend, I kind of like it, and it's called Executive Suite or Corporate. Things are hidden up over and corporate comes and I'm really here for it. A short and tie combo, a strong shoulder jacket, or a nice suit. We're all here for it and we say dress for the job you want. I mean the boss. And I gotta say this is I would say probably the only trend that I actually enjoyed looking at and most of the outfits that they modeled during the fashion week were white, nice and super trendy and I would say even wearable, probably not to worry but wearable, okay? <laughs> Well, I decided not to add any shirts or ties in this case because I decided to reserve it for a different outfit. But here we got a pair of trousers, a gelette, a jacket, high heels, stilettos, obviously, and a hat and a back. And here is the outfit. I gotta say, this is a very much wearable outfit. If there is something you think you won't be able to wear it to the office. I mean, you can always switch it up with something different. This is only an inspirational outfit for you. You could always change something about it. I hope it helps. And of course, let me know in the comment section how you like it. this other trend. This one is called the Savage Garden or Winter Florals. I have 
to confess that this outfit wasn't the easiest for me to make because after the inspection of my wardrobe I came to the conclusion that I actually don't really have anything floral that can be that could be worn during cold days during winter so here we are we're experimenting here and honestly I was like mm -mm, this is not working let's try something else this is not working either I was like what am I gonna do maybe this will help and it was ridiculous so I had to just give up the idea of the sweater yes this is by the way a cute little summer dress and I decided to just grab a cardigan or a sweater or yeah, pullover, no it's not a pullover anyway, and yeah it's opened <laughs> and I decided to style it this way, this little uh, floral dress as it's, it's trendy honestly, I'm not obsessed I don't really like material because it just it's very thin and it's not it's just not proper material for cold days I mean, you can layer, of course you can but this is not my favorite outfit let me know in the comment section how you feel about this outfit I'm really curious to hear your out and your opinions but it's a no for me I guess someone like me who doesn't really like cold? Well, no need to be afraid. Swathe yourself. This trend's called scarf dressing. No need to fear the cold next fall. Blankets, scarves, and trucks were thrown over everything from snappy tailoring and the row and Saint Laurent to even girls and George Armani. Okay, <laughs> so here we are. Here I decided to take this little black dress and I decided to grab this scarf. This is apparently the biggest scarf that I liked uh, that I have in my wardrobe. And to make it kind of cuter, I grabbed the belt. And here we're done with the video because apparently I didn't film it properly anyway. The next trend I wouldn't even call a trend because it's something that you would wear probably for the rest of your life, okay? And it's called, I mean, let's say this trend is called the grey black coat or simply a black coat. Next season, ski wardrobe investment doesn't at first glance set the pulse racing, but there is something about a strictly tailored black coat that feels absolutely right again. Think wisely, and you will be wearing yours for years to come. And let me introduce you to the coat that I have, as it's so, so pretty. I love this outfit, I gotta tell you. It's a little bit difficult to tell what kind of dress I'm wearing under this coat because the color is kind of matchy matchy but it's a short dress which I absolutely love it's quite casual but it looks so beautiful especially in the right lighting and especially with the right footwear and accessories like this beautiful cute little bag Anyway, just like I said, this trend is not really a trend, it's more of an investment. I believe that we all need a nice coat in our wardrobe. So, this is a perfect coat for you, in my opinion. I mean, a black, simple black coat. And here is another trend that I personally quite love, and it's called classic sequins or white shirts. As easy as that. Well, white shirts have always been a wardrobe binder, but this season they transitioned from Taurus line to Spock line in the capsule of classics. I got 
gotta say that the outfit that I'm about to show you is one of my favorite outfits from today's trying haul. I absolutely love it. It's just a too too cute because it has so many details that I adore. Well, let's have a closer look, shall we? Have you seen the leg wear? It's not really visible and that is why I absolutely love it. It just gives you an idea of something very cool that you're wearing under. And then on top, I'm wearing this oversized blazer dress. And of course, to make it a little bit more refined, we got the white shirt and the slim back Dior pumps. They have this cute white straps and I mean it's kind of matchy matchy but not too matchy you know I really love a good silhouette so I decided to add a belt here I don't really like that you can see the bottoms on top but don't pay attention don't look at them okay you can hide them with the belt I added gloves to make it a little bit more extra and I added this cute little bag I'm not really sure that the bag was the the right one because I filmed this outfit with a different bag. I share with you a short video, check it out. And I feel like the bag suits this outfit a little bit better. Check it out on my channel and let me know in the comment section whether you agree with me. Well, you made it till the end. Thank you so much. Let's talk about the last trend and it's called Call Me the Hourglass. And well, what can I say? The hourglass silhouette has been building momentum all season and here we are. I know it's kind of a summer dress, but it has this perfect silhouette. I'm talking about the dress. And if you're living in a warmer climate, you could probably still wear this outfit, this beautiful pink dress. Oh, I have to say I really love it. Let me know in the comment section what you do too. Well, thank you for sticking till the end. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If so, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and press the bell icon to never ever miss an upload. If you'd like to see more of my content or you're just willing to say hi to me, feel free to reach out. I'll drop the links as usual in the description box below. Have a fabulous day and I will see you soon. Bye! Drop a comment, let me know what your favorite trend was and the outfit.